It's time for Access the Experts from the University of Nebraska at Omaha with your host, Brandon Aximit. Well, hello and welcome to another edition of Access the Experts on News Channel Nebraska, where every Tuesday and Thursday, the University of Nebraska at Omaha faculty members answer today's questions facing our state. Now today we have the pleasure of hearing from Dr. Randy Adkins, who is the Senior Associate Dean of the Social Sciences and Graduate Education at UNO. So Randy, today's question is, which state has the most unique form of government in the U.S.? Thanks for that question, Brandon. You know, the legislature in the state of Nebraska is unique for many reasons, but the most obvious reason is that it is a unicameral. This all started in 1934 when U.S. Senator George Norris led a movement here in the state to reform the legislature. Now, Norris was a Republican, but he was a Republican from the party's progressive wing. It wasn't the first time Nebraska had considered a unicameral legislature. In 1913, there was a commission that was set up to study the functions of the Nebraska legislature, and they recommended establishing a unicameral. In 1917, 1923, 1925, and 1933, there were proposals to turn the legislature into a unicameral, but they were all defeated. And even in 1919, 1920, at the state's constitutional convention, there was a proposal there to create a unicameral legislature, but it was defeated there as well. What was different about 1934 was that Senator Norris crisscrossed the state himself to secure the signatures that were needed to get the plan on the ballot as an amendment to the state's constitution. In fact, folklore says that he wore up two sets of tires on his automobile doing that. Why did he do this? He did this because he thought it made little sense to have two different legislative bodies performing effectively the same duties over the same geographic jurisdiction. The unicameral he proposed he thought would be more efficient because it was very similar to the local governing bodies like a city council or a county board or a local school district. His principal criticism of the previous bicameral legislature in Nebraska was that the conference committees abused their power. The conference committee votes were not part of the public record, and the six members were appointed in secret, or they met in secret. Norris believed that that secrecy provided the conference committees with way too much power and invited lobbyists to exert their influence. In the end, that constitutional amendment ended up passing by more than 92,000 votes. Now, why did Norris do this? Well, Norris did this because he believed that legislators should be free to focus on local interests without the influence of national political parties. And he thought that local issues had little to do with national issues and lawmakers should take actions based on the needs of their legislative districts. Interestingly, despite all the interest we've had in the unicameral legislature over the years from journalists and politicians at the national level, Nebraska still remains the only state with a unicameral legislature. Thank you, Randy, for sharing your expertise on that topic. Well, for our viewers at home, we want you to interact with UNO's experts. So if you have a question that you want answered, go to newschannelnebraska.com and click on the Access the Experts link to submit your question. It may just be answered by a UNO expert on an upcoming edition. Lastly, do not forget that Access the Experts airs every Tuesday and Thursday at 6.46 a.m. and p.m. only on News Channel Nebraska. I'm Brandon Axmit. We have much more Access the Experts coming up next week, so be sure to tune in and don't forget to get those questions in. Access the Experts, presented by the University of Nebraska at Omaha. If you have questions, submit them on our website. Then join us every Tuesday and Thursdays at 6.46 a.m. and p.m. while we answer your questions.